Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Bake My Day. Today we're going to be cooking some oat biscuits. This was requested um, by someone on Facebook with my mum as well. Um, so we're going to get the tripod set up, wash our hands and get going. Okay, we've got them. So today we're making um, oat biscuits. We have oats. Five ounces of self raising flour. Don't make a mess. Okay. Um, I don't know, I just bung it all in anyway. Five ounces of marge. We will list everything down below. See, I just like to go through the ingredients. Some people like that. I like recipes that involve just um, chucking it in. Five ounces of caster sugar. Make sure you guys can see. And Do you want to put the oats in? Yeah. Um, we've got milk. Uh, this is one tablespoon of milk. Bicarb. One tablespoon of bicarbonated soda. Or one teaspoon, sorry. A tablespoon of golden syrup. What I like to do is actually um, hot my spoon up and it will come off a lot easier. Um, and I normally scoop it straight from the jar. All right. Okay, um, and your oats. You can just bung them all in there. Four ounces of porridge oats. And the next bit is just mixing it all in together. It's a fun bit. Could use your hands, but yeah. it'd be quite messy. Or a mixer. But we're going to do it the old fashioned way today. Mm. Get your hands in. Get your hands in. Just get your hands in. Make sure the mixture's in together. Sorry if I'm making a noise in the background. There you go. Also line the tray, we haven't done that yet. A bit behind today. A bit behind today, <laughs> yeah. And there you go, just roll it into a ball before you want to turn it into, obviously, you'll just take it off in a little bit, roll it in your hands, pat it down and stick it on your tray. Just throw that bit away. Just going to wash my hands quickly. of your mixture. I normally try and fit it in my arm, palm of my hand. Makes a nice size biscuit. And just you're gonna put it on the tray. Now obviously with these do give them room to move around because they will spread out. And then all you're going to do is carry on like that, get, I like to use a fork, a spoon, it's a spoon. <laughs> and over, I normally dip it in a piece of, bit of flour so if it gets sticky but just push them down a bit, obviously they will rise, 
And like I say, I use a bit of flour that gets too sticky. How um, long are they going to take in the oven? Right, they are going to take... Roughly about 20 minutes, I'd say. Um, yeah, they're going to bake for about 20 minutes. Uh, boom. Gas mark. Three. Three. If, obviously, I, I would say, I'm, I think it depends on how your oven works because different ovens work differently. So, you know, you might need a slightly higher temperature, a slightly lower temperature. But when your biscuits are a golden brown colour, they're done. Don't want them burn. Well, try not to. Oh, so like you can use a, a mixer to mix it if you don't want to use a with a, a spoon or your hands. Um, we would have used a mixer. We only brought a new one the other day because our one broke. After we've had it a few years, didn't we? Yes. And it decided to bite the dust the other day, so that's why. Right, I'm going to finish these off um, till I've used all the mixture up. Just got to get the oven on. As I said, they're going to go into the oven for about 20 minutes. Gas mark free. Now, this does make... Um, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Obviously, it depends on the size as well that you do them. But they will expand. So, here we go. Do keep an eye on them because obviously top of the oven will go quicker and that'll take about 20 minutes and I'll be back soon. Action. And hi, they've been in the oven, like I say, about 20 minutes. If you've got more than two trays and only two shelves or they don't all fit in your oven at the same time, just reduce your time that you leave them in there for by about five minutes. Uh, uh, here we go, here are my biscuits from the oven, we're going to just leave these ones to cool, but like I said I had another tray and here they are, already cooled down and ready, obviously they're not, um, you know, professionals like I said, some of them are slightly different sizes but you can all if you want that measure your ingredients your size your balls to make them exactly the same now these are last um for quite well they're a few days uh, at a crispiness then they're slightly soft inside and uh They'll soften up in a few days if you want them softer, if they last that long. So if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please share it and subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with your friends and family. Um, nice with a cup of tea or something. Nice, chewy, and they've got that little crispy bit on the outside. Um, so, yeah. If you enjoyed that video, like I say, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and we'll catch you next time with a new video.